Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So glad you guys could make it. My name is Brittany. And if it's your first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? And in today's video, I just wanted to film like a get ready with me because I do have a photo shoot in a couple hours, which I'm already behind schedule, but whatever, I'm still gonna film, girl. I'm still gonna film. And I just wanted to film the makeup process. So if you're here for it, you know, I'm here for it. So let's just get right into it. And I'm gonna zoom in because we're gonna start off with the eyes. Some people actually might not know that I already have eyeshadow on, but I do have eyeshadow because this look, this look is going to be very, very simple. Okay, so the palette I'm going to be using today is Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills. And you know, it's just a cute little everyday palette, nothing crazy, just straight to the point, and that's why this is my girl. And this is just the LA Girl um, Concealer in Fawn. Now the first shade I'm going to use is Sienna, this shade right here. And this is like the lightest of all the colors I'm going to be using, so that's going to be our transition shade for today. And I'm just going to keep like that color right in this corner, because I don't, you see how like I kept this right, it didn't really go out too far, so that's what I'm trying to do over here. I'm trying to keep it in the corner, because, yeah. And so now the next color I'm going to take is, oops, the mulberry and that's this it's like a darker brown and that's how I'm going to build up the dimension and you know build up the color so last but not least I'm taking the black color right here nor and that is the final color we're going to use and for this look I told you guys it was a very simple look because the girl ain't got time Okay, so to top everything off, I'm going to go in with my NYX eyeliner. And girl, this is it for the eye, girl. I told you. Quick, simple, and easy. Okay, we're going to get back into the eyes and the lashes later. And now we're just going to hop into the base. So for my face, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer and Foundation. And these two look so beautiful on me on photos so i know and you know like whenever you're picking up whenever you're about to take pictures you, your foundation has to be a very close match your concealer has to be not too light because you don't want that you know flashback so just make sure you pick products that you know are as close and as natural as possible to you so i took about three pumps of the primer So I took about three pumps of the foundation. That should be enough. I swear, whenever I do like talk through videos, I feel like I'm just doing nonsense and saying nonsense. Like I don't really feel organized, if that makes sense. I don't know. I just be hoping and praying that the footage comes out good because good girl, I just don't know. My Bedellium Tools foundation brush. I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything out. Don't forget under the chin, guys, this area right here. You don't want your face to look like you have on a mask. So make sure you remember under this area, especially in photos. That, that ain't cute. That ain't cute. So for concealer, I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut. And this concealer has never failed me in photos. So we're just definitely going to stick to what we know. I'm just taking a, a beauty sponge that's damp, okay, remember to dampen it. So as this concealer is drying down, I'm just going to talk about the photo shoot a little bit. So I live in Houston and the magazine by the name Houston Voyage has reached out to me and they wanted me to pretty much be in their magazine and they wanted professional photos and personal photos, but I didn't have any professional photos. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get cute, do my hair, do my makeup, and I'm going to take my picture professionally. So yeah to whoever it may concern. And then to set all of that in, I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup, another best friend of mine, has not failed me in photos yet. And whenever you're taking pictures, if you're someone who's of a darker skin complexion, it's always recommended to set your um, concealer with 
a colored powder versus a translucent powder because translucent powder picks up the flash and boom, flashback. You don't want that. So just try to stick to like a colored um, setting powder. So next I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face with the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy. I'm so salty because all of my contour products are finished. So all I can do is really bronze. It's just a little irritating. But it's okay girl, it's okay, we'll be all right. So now that we've contoured, or so now that we've bronzed, I'm gonna go ahead and take that same setting powder and the same beauty blender to cut that cheek pump, you know? You gotta cut it, girl. You have to. See, look at that. Look at the difference that made. So for my lashes, I'm taking the Iconic Envy Lashes, and this is like my favorite style by them, because you see how like the outer part is like longer? That really, really complements my eye shape. So that's why I'm using these. Now as the lash um, glue is drying, I'm going to just go in with some mascara for my top and my bottom lashes to, you know, just do what to do. And you guys can call me weird, but I love it when like the mascara clumps at the bottom because it really brings out the bottom lash. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Okay, so the lashes are on, and now um, I'm gonna keep it mad simple for the lips because I'm just basic when it comes to lips, so I'm just gonna keep it real simple. So I'm gonna line my lips with this um, brown, um, it's like an eye pencil from the Beauty Supply Store, very inexpensive, and it's so effective. So for my lips, I'm going to take this lip gloss from ColourPop, and it's like some sort of collaboration, but I didn't buy it for the collaborator, I bought it because I liked how it looked. So now I'm just going to put some on. Okay everybody, this is the final look. As you guys can see, I'm beat, I'm slayed, and I'm ready for this shoot. Um, thank you guys so much for coming to the end of this video. I hope you guys took some tricks and tips home with you. I hope you guys learned something from this. And I really just hope you guys enjoyed it overall. I personally love how this face came out. This is exactly what I was going for. And I really just hope the shoot goes successful. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Calm down Give me love, oh Cause I really need it right now